And, and as we enter this time of worship, we can worship God through song, and through dance, company hands. So would like you all just to stand with us so that we can just honor and give praise and thanks to God.
Lord, open the eyes of my heart, Lord. And it's simple, it's just a prayer to God to say, Lord, I may not understand what's going on. I may not understand the situation I'm facing. I may not understand the trouble that I'm going through, but Father, open my heart. Lord, help me to know more of you. And if you ask him, the, the God that I serve, you don't need to do it in, in any special way, the same way how you talk to your friends, your family and whatnot. You can um, approach Jesus the same way. You can ask him to come into your heart to understand um, who he is more than, you, than what you know him now. And he's so kind. I want to see you.
just have a lovely service and I will see you. Good morning everybody. Good morning, good morning and welcome. It's wonderful to have you with us. Um, I just want to welcome you if it's your first time here. I hope this will be the first of many visits. And as Pastor Lillian said, this is our new venue. So this week, we're a little bit all over the place, but as the weeks progress, we'll get better and better. So it's just great to have you with us. Enjoy the service. Turn to your neighbour and say, enjoy the service. So I, I like interaction, so you like to interact with me. And I can see you're all smiling. You all look absolutely gorgeous and glamorous. I've just seen some outfits today. I'm just like, wow. So you're dressed for the Lord this morning, okay? Right. As Pastor Lord said, my name is Sharon. I'm just going to give you some quick announcements and let you know what we do within this church. Um, every eve Sunday evening, we have what's known as our... Um, I've actually forgotten. Because I'm just, <laughs> Illuminate, I've not been well myself. I don't have COVID, but it seems as if everyone seems to have caught something, but I'm still standing and I'm still speaking. So we have Illuminate service this evening. That's at seven o'clock and that's online. On Wednesday mornings at this church, we have a morning prayer and that's on the WhatsApp platform. That's at 6 a.m. every Wednesday morning. If you'd like to be part of that, let me know at the end of the service and we'll send you the link for that. We also have prayer on Friday, and that's at Restoration House in Firswood, and that's on a Friday at 7.30. I thought, she thinks she's being discreet, but I can see her. <laughs> it's quite amusing where people do things like that, and they think you can't see them. You think it doesn't make you invisible. We can see you, and you look lovely. Anyway, moving on, also, just to um, let you know, we do have kids home every Sunday. It's not happening this week. If you'd like your child to come along, once you join this church, there'll be so much for them. So please come along next week when everything will be up and running and we'll continue to progress. Next week, Sunday, however, we do have um, an event and it's starting quite early. It's our um, Envision and Planning Day. And that starts at 10 a.m. For those of you who are members, you need to be here at 10. Those of you who can't keep time, please, please try and be here on time. It's a packed full day. We start at 10. There'll be a number of things that we need to do. And remember, we serve a God of order. So please try to be on time next Sunday because we're starting at 10. There'll be lots of things happening. So that's quite important. So those are the announcements. So I, haven't, I don't think I've missed anything. I just want to once again welcome you all here this morning. I hope that you enjoy this service and it will be a blessing to you. And thank you for spending your time with us and choosing to be here at Restoration House. God bless you all. Thank you. I think the um, offering is going around, so if you'd like to make your contributions, we also can do it electronically and we can provide you with that information. God bless you. One, two, amen. Thank you, Sister Sharon. So we're going to go into a, a time of offering. Those of you who have lots of spare change in your pockets, <laughs> and no, just feel, if you feel to give, give. If you don't, don't. And we're going to sing, oh, give thanks unto the Lord, because everything we have comes from God, I know we think that we earn it ourselves, but if it wasn't for the breath that we have, then which came from God, then you wouldn't be able to go and you know do your jobs and everything like that. So that's why we worship and we give thanks to God. And the song just says, Oh give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, yes, he is good. Oh give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, yes, he is good. And then he says, For he is worthy, worthy, yes, he is good, he is good. Amen.
Amen. Amen. Amen. And so this is the opportunity that we have to celebrate the life of a young person who will be dedicated today. God is all good, um, and this is really a, a, a privilege for me to be at this part of the journey. So many times we, as ministers, are invited or asked to serve and minister at funerals, where it's at the other end of the journey of a person's life. Some who are young, some middle-aged, some are older. But to be at the beginning stage is always great, and, and, and I thank God for Carissa to allow me to be here, and I've loved Carissa since she was in high to grass, grasshopper, um, and seeing her grow up into an, a wonderful young woman, it's such an honor. And so we have um, Tashin, am I saying yeah. name right? Ezra Devon Smith Jr. And we thank God for the life of this young child. And what our custom is here is to not just to pray for the child, but it's to pray for the full unit, um, which is the godparents, the parents, and obviously the ch child. And so I want to call up the godparents right now. Samuel Miller, so if you come to the front. Rashawn Miller. Claire, you're gonna have to help me with your surname. Numalo. Numalo. Is that right? Numalo. Good. Oh, Numalo. Um, Candicia, she's not here. And um, Caprice. No, 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 sorry. Um, we've got Junior. We've got two Juniors here. I've only got one name for, um, for the first Junior. We have Torian. Is Torian here? We have um, Ricardo Ellis. Frightened when I saw the young lady like that. I was like, okay. okay. Um, and then we have, did I say Joshua Newell? Is Joshua up already? Not him. Um, so it's not like everyone. So Condis is not here. Claire, Samuel, Vashon, Junior, Bayless. Junior. And then we've got Tori and Lee. Junior, who's not, not got a second name. And then Ricardo. And then Joshua, who's not here. Okay, brilliant. Wow, <laughs> this is good. Well, for the godparents, um, it's a privilege to be a godparent. It's a privilege to be asked by the parents to be a part of the life of Tashi. Now, being a godparent is more than just being there at birthdays and Christmas. It's actually been a part of the life. The just been there for birthdays and, um, and, and Christmas. And I want to challenge you guys because when Tashim sees you and when Tashim doesn't see you, your life is impacting the way that you handle yourself, the way that you conduct yourself, your aspirations in life. You know, being there 
when you're needed, and also just being there as a moral compass is really important. And I pray that God will give you wisdom in how you manage your own life in front of Tashim. I pray that you will have um, Tashim on your heart and parents also on your heart. Because there's times where parents may not say something, but they may need help. Um, it may just be a, a difficult day, it may be a difficult season. But this is the part that you play as godparents um, to be there. Yeah? That makes sense? No, 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 it's because when I turn this way, it's you. <laughs> you go a bit closer. <laughs> All right, cool, cool. So I want to pray for you guys. Um, and I pray that God will overshadow you and give you wisdom. So, Father, I thank you for the godparents. I thank you that this is a privileged opportunity for them to be a part and an investment in the, in the life of Tashima. And I pray that, Father God, that you will just give them godly wisdom, that they will be a moral compass, they will be, Father God, a, a, a person who, Lord God, can be seen as someone to aspire to, seen as somebody to be inspired for, um, of. I pray that, Father God, that they will have a honing device in their heart for this young child. That it won't just be at the special times, but it will be when even sometimes it's just a, a normal day, but they're ringing, they're, they're visible, they're asking, they're being a part of his life. And I pray right now in the name of Jesus that you'll cover them. But more importantly, Father, I pray that your light will shine upon their, their life. That they will come to know you, who is the true light, who is true wisdom. Who is the true compass for all of our lives. And I pray today, Father God, that you will just surround them, give them a heart that is, is near to you and is near to this precious family. We ask all these things in no other name but the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. You may be seated, guys. And now I want to bring um, mother and father. Tashim and Carissa and also young Tashim. Again, I want to thank you guys for choosing this house um, as a place to bless your child. Um, and we are not, it's not me alone, it's us that are blessing your child today. Um, the, the, the saying says, it takes a village to raise a child. And I still believe that because there's so many people that have impacted my life that are not my parents. And there's so many people in this room that have impacted my life. And again, they're not my parents, but it takes a village. And we want to be that village for Tashi, um, for you, um, that, that your life will be impacted, not just um, to aspire for great careers and stuff like that, but also to, to, to point your heart to God. Because at the end of the day, as I think it was Eureka who says, we are accountable to him in life. And so I really want to pray for you both um, because parenting is difficult and in this day and age it's even more difficult. There's so many different things bombarding this, this song. So many different influences. You send this child to school and it's not like when we were going to school where you're just learning about maths and English. They're teaching you so many different things that you don't know until you know. But we want to pray that God will give you wisdom. Um, that God will give you a discerning heart, um, that you will pick up on, on how to swim this, and you'll, you'll just pick up something is right, something is not right. Um, I want to also pray that there's times where life can be challenging. Do you know what I mean? You're doing your best, you're working, but sometimes some things can just set, you can get a curveball. But I pray that in that moment, that you will know to turn to God. 
that all right? So Father, I just pray for Justine, I pray for Car Carissa. I pray for their lives first, Father. I pray that they will, even from today, their hearts will switch on to you. I pray from this moment, Lord God, they will realize that there is more to life than just living the life that they've been living. And that there is help, that there is a community, there is also a God. And I pray that, Lord, that you begin to speak to them, you begin to minister to them. I pray, Father, that you'll protect them. I pray, Father, that you'll give them wisdom as they grow up this young boy. Father, where there are so many different influences in our world today, there are so many different opinions, there's so many different identities. But today, we declare that you will give this, 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 um, these parents, Father, you will give them an anointing to raise this child. You'll give them, Lord God, skill. You'll give them wisdom. You'll give them, Lord, understanding how to raise this child to be a man in this, this day and age. A man that is honorable in this day and age, Father. Yeah, Father, let him have good values that come from this household, Father. Yeah. I pray in the name of Jesus. Let this household be a safe place yeah. for him. Yeah. Yes, Father God. I pray that, Lord God, that parents will work together for the good of Tashim. Father God, and where there are sometimes reasons and valid reasons and not valid reasons to, to be separate and divided in their actions, but I pray today that there will be unity in their efforts towards this young boy. Father God, I pray that in the name of Jesus. I pray that their store baskets will, will never run dry. I pray that, Lord Father, that they will always know to turn to you. Lord, give them a prayer language that they will learn to pray, Lord God, with this um, Tashi as well as on their own, Father. Father, we thank you. We praise you, Lord God. And we give you thanks for their life. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And so it's my pleasure to turn my attention now to Tashin. Big man. How old are you? Okay. How old are you? So to see you, uh, it's, your mom and dad has brought you here because we're going to pray for you and we're going to pray a blessing on your life. And Jesus taught us to do this because he loves to bless little children. Okay? And at night time, and not every day, all through the day, he's always watching over you and he's always listening to what you're talking about and watching what you're doing and he prays for you and so he's asking me and this church to pray for you so that you can hear his prayers for you okay so to see tell me you know when you eat your food do you say thank you to jesus <laughs> And do you say a prayer when you go to bed? Yeah. Yeah. So Jesus is listening when you say those prayers. And he's so happy. Okay, so keep saying your prayers. Okay? All right. So Father, I thank you for this young boy, this young man. Thank you for his life. Father, with so many difficulties with bringing children into this world, so many health challenges. Father, we've gone through difficult times as a, as a world <coughs> with COVID and lockdowns and many things, but I, I see a young man here healthy and strong. And I give you thanks for that. And I pray, though, God, that he will remain healthy throughout his days. 
I pray that you will grow strong. I pray that, Father God, there will be no difficulties in his educational journey. I pray that when he's in school, that, Father, he will be favoured by the teachers. I pray, Father God, that he will, you will expand his thoughts, expand his mind, that when he sits in lessons, Lord Father, he will understand. When he sits around the, the table to, to do his tests, he will, Father, soar, and he will, Father, achieve. I pray, Father God, that you will surround him with good friends. I pray that, Father God, you will surround him, Lord God, with good people. And we bind the hand of the enemy, Lord God, and the voice of the enemy, Lord God, that comes to distort little children's lives. And we pray that you'll protect Tashim. Father, I pray that, Father, he will be a happy boy. I pray that he will be a joyful young man. I pray that, Father, he will, he will be a successful man, a successful father, a successful, Lord God, business owner, a successful person, Lord God. But more important, I pray that he will know you. And I just feel that, Lord, even the relationship that you had with Daniel in the Bible, let him have this with you, Father, that he knows you. I pray a blessing upon his life, Father. And I dedicate, Father, under the anointing of this house, as a minister of the gospel, I dedicate Tashim Ezra Devon Smith Jr. in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Bless you guys, and thank you again for allowing us to be a part of this day. And I pray that you guys will be visitors, that you'll be a part of this community. All right? God bless. God bless you. Amen. So we, we give God thanks. Um, this is my um, beautiful sister <laughs> walking across the platform. <laughs> so good to, um, to have you all here. I want to talk to you today um, just for a few minutes from the book of Mark. You can all turn our Bibles. If you've got your phone, turn your phone to the book of Mark. 